Okay, let's make a longitudinal profile in ArcGIS Pro. There are a couple of ways to do it. Number one, you can use an existing polyline file, um, or you could draw your own, and we'll do both here. There's a couple of tricks to this. So first of all, in my map, I've got a hillshade layer and an elevation layer that I created it from. This is the Uinta Range in kind of east central Utah. And then I've got um, two different flow lines. Now, one was derived from the National Hydrography data set. That's the one in yellow. And then in pink, I derived a polyline um, calculating flow accumulation um, in ARC. So they're going to differ a little bit. And um, I point this out to you so that you can be careful when creating longitudinal profiles, that you make sure that your polyline, if you're using one, agrees with the elevation surface that you're extracting the elevations from. Um, in this case, you're going to get kind of a funky result. Um, in the case of the pink line generated from flow accumulation, you're going to get a longitudinal profile that's more realistic for this surface because I used this DEM to create this um, channel network. Okay, the second thing that I did to prep for this is I dissolved the polyline segments into one unit. So you know that polylines um, have natural breaks where they're intersected by other, you know, maybe in the case of a stream network, other tributaries coming in. Um, wherever those vertices fall, you get independent line segments. And so I merged all those together to get one. Okay, so let's get um, a sense for the lay of the land. Um, first, I'm going to blend um, the world imagery data set that's underneath my hillshade. So we'll go, we've got our uh, hillshade selected, the appearance tab, and I'm going to put a hard light on that just to give us a little bit of a better sense of the landscape. Okay, and then what we do is we need to tell ArcGIS which elevation surface we want to use. Um, like I said, the DEM is already in here with my elevation values, but I need to tell ArcGIS to use it as a part of our visualization and our 3D analysis. So under map, we go to add data, use the drop down to add an elevation source. And I'm going to go back into my data set and find my Uinta filled DEM and add that. So it doesn't change my map. Um, it doesn't add it to the actual contents, and this by itself isn't visible. Um, but now it knows to pull the elevations from this um, ground surface. Okay, and then under analysis, we've got these different options, and there's an exploratory 3D analysis button. If we drop that down, we can choose to create an elevation profile. All right, interactive placement means that you can draw a cross section, and we can try that. We could kind of draw... Um, across this area here, double click to end the line, and here's our little um, profile down here. So you notice that the line here is blue. This is actually a series of points um, that were generated across this line, and at each point it's extracting an elevation. And so I can track across to my low point and then back up the other side. Now this is reading opposite of the way the line is drawn on here, so I can use these buttons here to reverse the direction. And now, as I track across my profile graph, you can see the white line on the map is moving back and forth. So that's pretty slick. Um, if you're curious about how to not have a purple, purple profile graph, you go into the properties over here, and you can change the background color, the line color. This is kind of the the points um, here, the graph color, you could make this something a little bit less purple if you wanted to. You should also notice that it's um, calculating a bunch of statistics for you. So the min and max um, elevations along your graph, what the average elevation is, gains and losses in elevation, and you can choose to um, display this in different units here. Okay. Let's um, instead um, create a plot from a layer. And so our line layers, we can drop these down here. Um, and again, I've got a, um, 
a line that was created from flow accumulation and one that was created from the NHD. And you have to go up and select in order to activate the apply. So right now I've got the NHD line selected. If we do that, then we come up with our elevation profile. And then if you want to save these, you can export the graph and export to an image, a feature. The profile path will be a line feature um, or tables. So that's how you do that. Um, OK, and then let's try an interactive placement one more time. And I'll show you how you can manipulate it a little bit. Let's say we want to create a trail. Here we go. So let's just say we want our trail to start here and we're going to start climbing and then we want to switch back. Up this slope, get up to the ridge line and we'll end our trail here. So here it shows the profile graph and it gives you an idea for the gain and loss. Um, if we, let me close this, we get a little stretch here. Um, perhaps this is a little bit um, too much or maybe not enough. You can edit these points this way, which is pretty slick. Now that you've drawn your line, maybe we want to add something like that. And now we've, we've smoothed things out a little bit. That looks like it dips down, so let's get rid of that. There we go. Now we've smoothed out. We don't have any sections that are um, too onerous for climbing. This is one of those instances where you might want to export your feature now as a line. And you could use this you know, to add to another map. All right, that's it.